Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problems 24 and chapter 2. In this one, you tell us there is a sports car with a moving at a constant speed travels 100 meters in 5 seconds. So we can draw a picture to understand what happens. So this is a sports car is moving on this straight line. So at the first step, first part, it moves 110 meters in 5 seconds. So very easily we can get the constant of velocity in this region, right? And then it breaks and slows down to a stop in 4.0 seconds. So then this part we can get is initial velocity v1 from there. So this one can get from v1 can get from this one. And then finally it completely stop. So we get v2. And then the time taking for this region is 4.0 seconds. Ask you the magnitude of its acceleration. There, we say we need to find acceleration. We need to know the final velocity given. Initial velocity, we can get it from the in this x1 and t1, and then time taking is given. So we can get the acceleration. It's so easy. So first step, find v1, v1 because this is constant speed, right? Constant moving, x1 divided by t, t1, then we get it, 22 meter per second. And then we know v1, v2, and t, very easily we can get acceleration, agree? Because this car slows down and stops, so acceleration is to the negative direction, agree? So to the negative direction, there is a negative sign. This negative sign tells us the direction about the acceleration. And then it asks you to find the magnitude of the acceleration. So magnitude is just this number, absolute value of the uh, acceleration, right? In unit G, it tells us G is 9.8 meter per second square. So how can we do that? So it's like a unit convert. Um, because we know acceleration is negative 5.5 meter per second square. And it tells us 1g is 9.8 meter per second square. So we times this one, this one equals to 1, right? Because g is 9.8 meter per second square. So this one is 1. Then we can say, we can use this one divided by this one times g. So we get it's negative 0.56g. Now the answer, magnitude of the acceleration in the meter per second square, so it's 5.5 meter per second square, and also 0 0.56 g. That's all. Thank you.